Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the lives of historical figures who've shaped our world in profound ways. Today, we're exploring the remarkable story of Queen Nenzenga, a fearless leader and strategist who fought tirelessly against colonial forces in Angola during the 17th century. Queen Nzinga Mbande was born in 1583 into the ruling family of the Ndongo and Matamba kingdoms, located in present-day Angola. From a young age, Nzinga was exposed to the complexities of governance and warfare, learning from her father, a king, and her brother, whom she later succeeded. Her rise to power came during a tumultuous time as the Portuguese expanded their slave trade operations in Central Africa, Nzinga became a pivotal figure in the resistance against the Portuguese, known for her diplomatic acumen, military tactics, and unwavering commitment to her people's freedom. In 1622, Nzinga famously negotiated with the Portuguese governor of Luanda, demanding the withdrawal of Portuguese troops and the return of her people taken as slaves. She conducted negotiations while seated on the back of a servant, refusing to accept a lower status than her counterpart. This moment underscored her refusal to submit to colonial powers, setting the stage for her long struggle against Portuguese domination. Queen Enzinga converted to Christianity as a strategic move to strengthen the alliance with the Portuguese initially. However, she soon realized that the Portuguese had no intention of honoring their agreements. This realization spurred her transformation into a guerrilla warfare leader, allying with neighboring kingdoms and even former enemies to counter Portuguese advances. Enzinger's military campaigns were innovative and fierce, showcasing her strategic genius. She provided sanctuary to runaway slaves and warriors from other ethnic groups, building a formidable resistance force. Her leadership extended beyond the battlefield. Nzinga revitalized her kingdom's economy, establishing Matamba as a powerful trading state that dealt with the Dutch and other European powers. Despite numerous attempts by the Portuguese to capture or kill her, Queen Nzinga remained a thorn in their side for decades, inspiring her people to resist colonial rule. Her diplomacy extended to negotiating with the Dutch, seeking their assistance in fighting the Portuguese, which led to several victories. Queen Enzinger's legacy is one of resilience and resistance. She remained a central figure in the struggle against colonialism until her death in 1663 at the age of 80. Her efforts laid the groundwork for continued resistance in Angola, making her a symbol of the fight against oppression and a hero to many. As we reflect on Queen Nzinga's life, we're reminded of the power of leadership, the importance of strategic thinking in the face of adversity, and the unyielding spirit of those who fight for their people's freedom. Nzinga's story is not just a historical tale. It's a source of inspiration for all who advocate for justice and sovereignty in the face of overwhelming odds. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Queen Nzinga, a warrior queen whose legacy of resistance and leadership continues to inspire. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more stories of remarkable figures from history. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present and inspire the future.